All right, so when you enter the classroom, this is what you first see. Now, my classroom is fairly old. It's in a very old building, um, but yes. So as you can see, I have like art things labeled, and that's because uh, the teacher who worked here before, whose classroom this was before, was an art teacher, and I don't know if she retired or what happened, but all this art supply is left over with no teacher. So I have here, I have um, elementary in the mittens, uh, famous people quotes, important people quotes. And I love, love that. Up there, I put some mortars to kind of hide this um, cork board thing that they had up there. My library is here looking a little sad. <laughs> I still need to sort out some books from here, but that's that. Eventually, it'll I'll take up both shelves and put my library there. Over on this side, I have a writing board, um, a whiteboard, which is very, very large, and then a reading board. Now, it is large, but it's oddly placed because the smart board is over there, so it's kind of odd but i figure um yesterday i saw um another teacher on instagram i'm forgetting her name but she has shelves like um acrylic shelves all over so i can make like a little um, book display so that's that here i figured i'd do that for math like a must do and a may do and then like the clips for any uh charts that i have so that'll be nice any additional charts that are not reading or writing so this is all my junk here of books and some math um supplies and manipulatives that the county order for me okay back here i have more of those corkboard things so i put that up there this back here is actually the library um my classroom sits right above the library unfortunately so that's that no real windows here is some more leftover things from the previous teacher. Here is the junk that needs to go in there that I have no key for. Um, so it's just like other supplies like paper and crafts and other things like, like toys. This box down here is all, nope, not that one. The box over there is all um, kitchen stuff like my Keurig and any coffee stuff that I had or any food stuff, like all kitchen utensil stuff. Um, and over here, I have like borders and things like that that are extra folders that I've already all have them all set up for when the kids come in with like, let me see. With um, ideas and a word wall, an alphabet chart, and sound chart, and blends, and things like that. I thought these were labeled. Some of them are labeled, some are not. All this stuff really needs to go in here, but I don't have a key for it. Uh, all these books are not mine. <laughs> they are different teachers, more art supplies. This, however, is mine. I just don't know where to put it because I don't have the space for it because all these are also occupied with art supplies. So it's been lovely. Um, then here I have my student stuff, so book boxes. And then I have like individual supplies for them for whenever we do come to school. I have some extra things and toys over here. Ugh. And in these, the only ones that are free over here, I have um, these supplies labeled and up there too. And so I label them with my name so people know this belongs to me. As the custodians are supposed to get rid of everything that's marked art. But it's been marked for a hot minute, so I don't know when they're going to do that. Sink is over here. I added a few things to that. Then we have our math section uh, where I imagine I will put um, 
like papers and stuff that they need to grab and whatever for math or other stuff. Here's the front of the room. I have our posters, um, bins for me, for work, like some birthday stuff and cutesy things. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I have my chair here which might have to leave and go to storage because possibly kids could sit on it. That's what I've been told. And we don't want that during this time. Then I have like my voice level uh, levels thing. And most of these things are from, um, I'm forgetting her Instagram name, but it's Stephanie Nash on Instagram and TPT. And that's pretty much it. I have my posters here. Up there, I'm going to put like number posters or like skip counting. Uh, and over in these cabinets, I might like on the outside, I might have like uh, motivation posters. These are things that need to be like stored because I have like no room for. This is my rug and this is um, other stuff that will not be staying in the classroom during COVID time. That's pretty much it. I love my little classroom. I just wish all the art supplies that it's not meant for me can go because even if it stays, I don't know if I have much use for it, but that is that. This big trash can was a big um, lifesaver last year when COVID started and my kids were washing their hands all the time because our trash cans that we have are very little, like half of that. And so that was helpful. So, so over here, this is what's like right behind my desk. I have like birthdays that I have not yet filled in because I don't really know who's gonna be in this room. So I'll wait to do that. Our schedule. And I have this um, bin thing tower that is very um, wobbly now uh, in the move. They must have broken something, but it's not working too well. So over in the table, each kid gets a bag that has like crayons, markers, some paper, scissors, pencils, glue, and all that. It's individual supplies that the county is providing for each student that they keep at their tables for um, so we can avoid sharing things. So this is my desk over here. And it's a little bit of a hot mess right now, just because I have a lot of things going on. In this pile here, I have like a bunch of posters and stuff I want to put up in my other room. I guess you wouldn't know, but I have another room that I'm supposed to, once school opens, if it ever happens, I'm supposed to teach about nine or eight kids there and then nine or eight kids in this room, which is where I initially set up. So this is my main room. And here I have other things I want to laminate and the laminator is has been out of the paper the plastic thing for a hot minute so that's that and here I have other nonsense stuff and yeah and this is my pretty table that I um, wrapped and I was talking about this in my video how here is where it ends and here's the other one and you can barely see because the pattern is just so seamless like you can make all kinds of mistakes and you wouldn't know i guess i can show you in here is where i have all my supplies this is like my bell which is really awesome you can get it on amazon and it's like a call for attention for the kids and there's like a million sounds okay no, well not a million but there's lots of sounds <laughs> so i have pencils like sticky notes um paper clips blah 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 the smelly markers which are the best and that close this and then here i have um other stuff markers and whatnot things that don't fit there some personal things back there and this is goes with the bell you just plug it in and this is where the sound would come from that I use for my schedule, some magnets, and just that. Down here, 
I have some of these sheet protectors, which I love for like sensors and stuff. And then like envelopes and folders and whatnot. And some like products that I was gifted and it's always nice to have. In general, I have a very small supply of things. I don't like a lot of stuff and the stuff that I do have, I like for it to be organized and like put away so yeah all the extra stuff is driving me a little nuts and not having a place for my own things is a little nutty so i have about over half an hour to be in school i'm gonna go see if the laminator has any laminate is that what it's called and then see if i can clear out one of the cabinets and put my, my other stuff in there So I'm super excited to use this once my students come in and I found that a shop was using these markers to write on their glass so I figured instead of using like a permanent marker it might be better to use these because they pop out a lot more. So these are the bold chalk markers. So I'm guessing you can use them on chalk also which would be nice because uh, I have a chalkboard in the other room that I have. So let's try it out here. Okay, I definitely have to make that a lot smaller. But um, I'm thinking because it's glass and I have crappy handwriting, I could have like a printed paper right behind it and kind of like trace the back. You know what I mean? I started over on this side already and it's coming off so easily. Okay, I'm officially in love with these markers. They are so vibrant and I see like I could do so much with them. I might just take it home with me so I can decorate like on my window for the kids. So pretty.